Hello sinners and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about guardian demons. Now what is one? A guardian demon or god is basically a being that helps and watches over us. Most satanists don't even <coughs> have a guardian demon due to the lack of not knowing how to summon one. They don't need one or haven't discovered the benefits of having one. Let's elaborate on some more. Let's elaborate more on this fact. One does not simply just happen or walk across a guardian demon. One must find him or it by oneself. Now this may be this might sound pretty difficult or hopeless to many people because of the many mysteries that surround the subject to guardian demons. And this can be the truth and is reality. The amount of people without guardian demons is low, maybe for good reason. There are and can be instances of evil demons or gods attacking people because of manipulation, selfishness, fun, or for that they don't care that they are on the side of the right hand path or basically the human trap of death. These are energy vampires only to feed off of us in order to become stronger and live longer, gaining us the results of sickness, depression, even death. When choosing a guardian and trying to find out who they are, it is best to go through a list of demons to see which ones might be benefit you the most. This does not mean that you will have the one guardian that you will have one guardian in your time. Some instances you can have many. But be careful of choosing. This is not a rushed event, and it is advised not to be played with, especially for beginners. When one begins, they should at least know that they are comfortable with the thought of another being like you or I is going to assist you for other, either in every life or for the short duration of your human and possible soul form in the afterlife. They will always tell you the truth whether you like it or not, always being honest so that you can learn to accept the truth, facts, faults in yourself, so that you may know the roots of which you can get better at things. They educate us, teach us, protect us, can be our friends, family, brothers, or sisters. All demons are different and should be treated with extreme respect. <clears throat> Alright, now how to find your guardian demon. Step 1. You firstly have to gather supplies for the summoning ritual if you decide to do it this way. Many beginners have decided to go this route when summoning a demon for the first time, but that does not mean it's going to be easy. You will have to be good in sensing energy, telepathy, and astral travel. These are all needed for the whole ritual process. 1. Make sure to completely wash your entire body. It is rude to summon or attempt to contact a demon or god when dirty. You can wear black clothing or do a ritual naked. It is all up to you and what you're comfortable with. 2. Pick out at least three gods or demons to start off with. You want to have their sigils as well. The best thing in picking a demon would be choosing them according to your best interests, either to help you improve on things or you may want to better and move on form, or to help you learn things you've always wanted to in the first place. 3. Light the incense according to the first demon you should start with, and draw out his or her sigil on a piece of paper. Make sure not to ruin this paper, damage it, or lose it. You'll want to stare or learn, stare and learn the sigil so that you can make it a correct and clear image in your mind for the summoning. 4. Light three candles, two black and one in accordance to the demon's color. Make sure the demon's candle is in the middle of the three or in between the two black candles. If you cannot find the proper candle colors, you can always substitute them with another black candle or red and white candles. 5. Memorize the demon's sigil in your mind and don't forget any details. If you forget even the slightest string of the sigil, it can be impossible to summon them. 6. Go into trance and while remembering the sigil, say the demon's name either out loud or in your head. Either one is fine. This process can take a long time and a lot of practice. When I first started out, it took me almost eight months until I finally got results. <clears throat> it took a while. Seven, you should know if he or she is a guardian if you're able to go to them or if they come to you in some form or another in the astral plane or physical. They can also manifest as a voice, a form of colored energy, or even in the, within physical noises or strange occurrences in your daily life, as well as visions and dreams. And what you should do always before summoning them, ask them to come to you, or you trying to come to them, always ask them. And there should always be signs. Alright? Always should be signs. <laughs> Alright, guys, make sure you subscribe and visit my site, satansgarden.weebly.com. And thanks for watching.